Well, you ain't nobody. There are two schools of thought in Hollywood right now involving who is the real drug kingpin in Harlem circa the 1970s, Frank Lucas or Nicky Barnes. The two men's stories are both featured on celluloid. Lucas's side of the story is told through the eyes of director Ridley Scott in American Gangster, and Barnes's version of events is told by Mr. Untouchable himself, direct from the Witness Protection Program in the documentary from Damon Dash. Cuba Gooding Jr., who portrays Barnes in American Gangster, offers his opinion of their rivalry. In the film, they're, you know, they're ri rival dealers. Um, I think uh, in Frank Lucas's case, he had more, um, more of access to, to, uh, to get the pure heroin and bring it into Harlem, and then the individual uh, dealers would, uh, would, would buy it from him and then distribute it themselves. And, and uh, you know, Nicky had a, an enterprise that was uh, controlling, but I think he needed to get the product from somebody. So I think that was the relationship, was that, uh, um, that he, he bought his, his product, but he didn't follow the rules, a lot of the rules that, that uh, Frank Lucas had set down, so there was some tension between the two. You can come to your own conclusion about what's fact and what's fiction by catching Mr. Untouchable, which is currently playing in theaters, and American Gangster, which opened November 2nd. The most important thing in business is honesty. Bribery, extortion, integrity, hard work.